Hi, my name is James Clem. We're talking about tools. Biogeneric variation, what's that all about? Well, I tell you, this software is pretty cool. You're going to get a proposal that looks pretty good most every time. If you have a good prep situation with a good opposing arch, your restorations look pretty good. Occasionally, we'll get a proposal maybe that doesn't appeal to us. It doesn't fit the arch the way we want. How do we change that? We don't have to use a lot of tools to get through that. We're going to go to Biogeneric Variation and click on that tool, and you'll, you'll go to the side pop-out window, hold down your left mouse, and scroll your, your trackball up and down. And what you'll see is you'll see that tooth morph into various different topographies, different anatomical appealing shapes. When you see the shape you want, you release your left mouse, and the tooth will recalculate to that new shape. It's a really nice tool to use. How often do I use that? Not a lot. Only when I'm in what I call my dinking spirit. That's where I want a little more control. Here's the caveat. When you're using biogeneric variation, make sure you use it as a very first action in your design sequence because it will repropose your tooth. If you've done other features on your restoration, you will lose those, which means you got to start over again. So here's the sequence we use. If you're using biogeneric variation, it's the first step you do. Then what you want to do is make sure that restoration fits the arch, and most of the time it does. That's a result of the model axis. The model axis will set the compass of proposal. So the tooth comes in in a proper orientation to your arch, buccal, lingual, and mesial distal. So the first thing we want to do is make sure our restoration fits the arch. Once it fits the arch, then I define my occlusion. Once I have my occlusal morphology and the contact points defined, then I set my emergence and interproximal contacts in that order. That way I'm not repeating steps, and that really will speed up your time in design. And then we mill. So enjoy the biogeneric variation tool, but don't overdo it.